The date was 5th of March 2020. The people of the small Slovakian town were minding their own business, calmly bustling around town, doing their weekly shopping with enthusiasm. It was a warm day for March. It looked like they were in for a pleasant spring this year. None of them had any idea that in less than a month they won't be able to leave their house, let alone shop and stroll around freely. News of some strange, previously unknown sickness were coming on the radio, but it was in China, a world away from them, so they didn't pay much attention to it. Then, a few days later, a handful of people got sick. They showed flu-like symptoms, but usual flu remedies didn't seem to do much. That was when people started to realize, maybe China isn't that far after all. Covid-19 took over the world in a record-breaking one month. We went from carefree and hopeful from the beginning of March to paranoid toilet paper hoarding doomsday preppers at the end. Stores got raided for things like hand sanitizers, surgical masks, canned food, and toilet paper. Within days, their shelves were empty. All of this sounds like I'm describing the prologue of a post-apocalyptic book, doesn't it? Crazy to think that this all happened in our backyards. It's been almost one and a half years since that fateful March day. And most of us are still affected by COVID one way or another. Personally, it made my life and journey just a little bit more complicated than it already was. Brexit just happened not long before. So now I had an actual deadline. The Brexit transition gave me one year to make my dream a reality and now and there it was this thing threatening to take it away. It almost did too. By April 2020 travel got restricted. Both Slovakia and England made international travel something we were only supposed to or allowed to do if inevitable. So there I was, obsessing over the internet, desperate for some good news. It was June when the light at the end of the tunnel just got a little bit visible, or so I thought anyway. But by then, the virus seemed to retreat a little, so governments came up with all kinds of ideas to get our lives back to normal as soon as possible. One of those ideas was the UK government's traffic light system. It basically categorized countries based on infection levels into three groups. Green, amber and red. I caught a bit of good luck because about three weeks before my planned departure, Slovakia got categorized green. That meant no quarantine, no tests, no nothing. I was relieved, to say the least. Many people told me not to go, that it wasn't safe, but I was on a mission. That was a year ago. Now it's pretty much the same. We're back to the same traffic light system, same quarantine requirements, as if we just kind of skipped an entire year. Well, just like then, I'm on a mission. So when my day comes, I'm on my way. Even if it means quarantine, tests, God only knows what else. I believe you should never settle for anything less than the absolute best, and I don't intend to. Sometimes we have to endure a little bit of pain, because there is no success without hardship. Thanks for watching.
talk to you later. Keep on dreaming. Keep on doing. Bye.